Good afternoon, Lace Jump, and I'm John. This is many a true dodge, and welcome back to Starfield. Where last time, we looked into a conspiracy right here in Ryujin. Somebody has been leaking information to Infinity. The problem being, this is Ryujin, meaning everybody here is a sneaky backstabber with strong technical skills, meaning, okay, basically, any piece of evidence could be fabricated, planted, etc, etc. I feel like, yeah, there's more going on here than what we currently know. So let's go interrogate Imogene and see what she's got to say in her defense. Right. The entire time I've known her, she's almost never stepped foot outside her office. And now, uh, the exact moment I'm supposed to come and pick her up for interrogation, yeah, she's gone. Right. Well, that's a bit concerning. Let me guess. Looking for Imogene? And okay, by the sounds of it, I'm not the only person looking for her. I'm sure you can tell by now, she isn't here. Which is a shame, since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. Okay, so by the sounds of it, yes, you work for her, just like I kinda do, I suppose. So, right, when was the last time you actually saw her? She hasn't stepped into the office since the maintenance closure. Probably abusing her paid time off again. I know for a fact she doesn't have any external meetings or business trips. Okay, now that I'll admit is a bit suspicious because uh, that's the exact moment I snuck into the office and found the evidence about Imogene on What's Her Face's terminal. Now if that evidence wasn't real and had been planted by someone else, then there's no reason Imogen would know today was the day not to come into work. So, uh, right, that's somewhat concerning. Anyway, let's track her down, me and you, Yuko. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. Okay, so we could just go in all guns blazing to the Syndicate hideout, though probably not a good idea. Let's at least, you know, try speaking to Dalton first, though... Okay, it could be Dalton. We simply don't know who's actually working for Ryujin versus who's a mole for Infinity. Right now we have nowhere near enough information to know one way or the other. If Imogene's with the Syndicate, I can't just send you after her. You'll need to speak with Benjamin Bayou. We have to make sure he's aware of the situation. If we're lucky, he may even help us get to Imogene. Okay, apparently it's extraordinarily lucky I came and spoke to this guy, because uh, if I'd just gone in, right, we might have annoyed Bayou. And I feel like I've done enough to annoy Bayou already. Bayou does not like me. Because yes, as you may or may not remember, the last time we ran into Benjamin Bayou was after he basically caught me sneaking into the conduction grid facility, at which point I basically tossed myself under the bus to protect Estelle, meaning he basically said, hey, I'm going to frame you for murder, now get out of my city, I never want to see you again. And um, okay, so now we're back and we need to ask him a favour, and I'm genuinely curious if he's going to bring up the whole absolute power business, because uh, if he doesn't, that would just be cocking hilarious. Right, Benjamin, my old friend, let's have a lovely chat about us doing some business together. I don't recall sending for anyone. What do you want? Okay, I think it's genuinely possible he's not going to, you know, recognize me, acknowledge uh, the multiple dealings we've had in the past, or indeed uh, the murder he previously framed me for, so... Uh, Oh, well, this is just delightful. Okay, buddy, I would like your permission to enter a syndicate hideout on Ryujin's behalf. So, what would be the reason? I may consider Ryujin an ally, but Dalton especially knows I don't give anything blindly. Okay, surely the best option's gonna be, yeah, complete transparency. There's no point trying to, like, you know bluff this guy or hide anything from him. He's going to hear the truth pretty bloody soon anyway. Just tell him precisely what we're after. A suspect who's probably fled to the syndicate in order to hide. As long as it doesn't involve the syndicate members themselves, I'll tell you what. I'll make sure the syndicate lets you in hassle-free, provided you do a little something for me. Okay. So he might want a job doing in return, but hopefully we might just be able to bypass that if we're lucky. 
And what mutual benefit would that be? Oh, Benjamin, my dear old friend. Okay, this is apparently looking very easy to pass. So, yes, what's good for Ryujin is good for Neon. Of course. Ryujin's success always pays out when it comes to Neon profits. And now we should have a nice easy opportunity to just, yeah, push this over the line. A couple of greens, no trouble. Because yes, indeed, this is just between us, Benjamin. You and me, best friends forever. All right. You talk a good game. And I suppose if we're looking at a mutually beneficial situation, there's no reason for me not to allow such a small favor. Check in with Ms. Moore at Frankie's. I'll send word along that you're to be expected, so she shouldn't give you any trouble. Fair warning, the Syndicate should let you search any common areas, but if anyone catches you snooping around private quarters, I'll just say be prepared for some hostilities. Right, so the fact I bothered coming out this way, that's got me, you know, through the front door and potentially into the common areas, but we still might need to do, you know, a little bit of sneaky sneaky to get into the good stuff. Lovely to meet you, Mrs. Moore. I believe I should be expected. I'm just here to have a quick look around the hideouts. Oh, so you're the one getting special treatment. Don't look like much to me. I've got one rule for you in there, so it shouldn't be hard to remember. Third floor is off limits. They catch you snooping around and it's open season. Okay, first two floors A-OK, -okay. don't go up to the top. Gotcha. You'll find that young lady you're looking for holed up in a room almost straight ahead. Just remember to keep your eyes on the prize. The less you consider this an open house, the better. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I was kind of just assuming she was gonna be up on the third floor and we'd have to sneak up to her. Now I know that, like, you know, she's actually straight ahead. Somewhere that's super easy and accessible to get to. Well, now I'm just curious what you're keeping on the third floor. Right, just use the uh, terminal to crack open the secrets. I'm gonna be honest, that was not the door I was expecting to open. How do we open the- There we go, sorry. It was just a completely regular door. You open it by pulling the- Oh. Okay, but like- you're not going to shoot right. I'm supposed to be here. I really hope you're not planning to shoot, by the way, because, um, yes, I may have forgotten to uh, go and pick up my guns after the sneaky mission. So, right, I've only got one gun, but it is a pretty good one, so hopefully we're fine. And okay, by the Luke C of it, you don't appear to be pulling out a gun straight That's away. Magnificent. I like your giant glowing evil globe, by the way. So, okay, before we go and find Imogen, just... Oh, blimey. Right. There's level 62 crime lords in here. So, uh, okay. Things I'm could uh, potentially get a bit on the nasty side if a fight does break out. That we do off. not want that to happen, if at all possible. Anyway, this is floor number one. So, floor two. That's legit. I'm allowed on floor two. Just... Ooh. Okay, but like... But just... You know, use my jetpack to have a bit of a poke around. Well, there's someone up there guarding that way, so I can't just sneak up there, which is unfortunate. But, right, now I really bloody want to know what's going on up on the third floor. Oh, and I tell you what, there might be alternative ways around, because... Uh, master locked door. That, to me, looks like maybe, I don't know, ventilation shaft, old broken down elevator, etc, etc. Right, I can't open this door. But I feel like this would be one way to sneak upstairs if I had to. And yeah, if I hadn't spoken to Benjamin, I feel like I'd either be shooting or sneaking my way through this area right now. So that was definitely the right thing to do. Oh, and here's nice. In one of the bedrooms just off of the main corridor here. One, we've got a skill magazine for range and accuracy on combat attack, which I'm pretty sure is... Uh, yes, my... Okay, I don't have it right now, but like... That gun I've got, that's the legendary one that gives me med packs. And on top of that... Well, a hello there maintenance key that no one minds me taking. Okay, no trouble guys, no trouble. I just want, you know, a very quick Luxy roundy. This lovely private area you've got set up here, so... Right. This here 
is where you're keeping the good stuff. This is your contraband cache. So, uh, right, we'll just be uh, having all of that. Even cocking more, in fact. Lovely. Oh, and on top of that, hang about. That looks to me like, you know, a way we might just be able to uh, mosey on up in the world a bit. So, uh, check who's here. We're now trespassing. That's fine. I'm sneaky. I'm light. I know roughly what's going on. Okay, this is a bit on the awkward side because I'm um, right. This is one of those emergency cuttable walls. I don't actually have my, you know, cutter. And you can't shoot these. Well, that's just bloody irritating. Okay, but in the main room, this is, yeah, floor two. I see events. The question is, is anyone going to, like, you know, object to me moseying up to the ceiling? Just get all. Get down. Get in. Get through. No trouble. No trouble at all, buddy. All right. Just want to mosey on. Hang on. Maybe just check. This, like, you know, here versus not. So, right. That's the guy guarding the staircase that we already saw. So now we're in the, um, yeah, vents above floor three. All right. So, okay. This, this is looking much better. Just be a little bit careful around here. But, okay, how many of you people are actually on, like, you know, this floor versus the one below? Because it's kind of hard to tell, actually. I think you might be on this floor. Hang about, just wait. Yeah. You're actually in here. Now, in theory... I could just stealth take you out. But I probably shouldn't. I feel like, you know, that would potentially cause trouble. Just wait for her to walk away. And we'll mosey down there. I love how no one can see my, you know, very obvious flashlight. We'll just grab whatever's on the desk and be on our way. Here we go. Just grab you, crack you open. That's literally nothing but a refined bridge. Well, that's just bloody underwhelming, isn't it? Right, back up in the vents, there's one other way out, which is by the Luxy office. Yeah. One office or something. Right here. Nobody in here. This feels like, you know bit of an important room, actually. Well, I shan't say no to a gun worth 18 grand. That's not bad. Not bad at all. A handful of extra pocket change as well. Yeah. Well, looks of it. That might be, yeah, what we've got up here. Just a handful of lovely, lovely loot. Weirdly, yeah, by far the most valuable stuff was the contraband, which you didn't even need to go up to the third floor to get. Okay, straight back down off of the top of the ceiling. Don't mind me, guys. No trouble. Nothing to worry about. Right. Let's go catch up with Imogene. Because, uh, yeah, they clearly know I'm supposed to be here. And they're very happy with me going to speak to her. Because Mrs. Moore did say, you know, here's where she is. Uh, go straight to her. I figured our paths would cross sooner or later. Not that I thought I was safe, but I never expected anyone to just slip by all the syndicate here. Okay, Imogene, no need to be like, you know, all dramatic or anything. We're not here to confront you or anything. Just here to get your side of the story, okay? I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. And just indeed, we need to have a nice chat about what's going on here. Starting off with... Uh, yes. How did you know about the investigation? Because uh, it's certainly a bit suspicious. You disappeared uh, at the exact moment an investigation into this matter started. Something that you should have had no reason to know about. You stay in this business long enough, you get enough favors and connections that can help you see anything coming. Nyx owed me a favor and gave me the heads up. Bloody Ryujin. Everybody's dirty, everybody's dodgy, everybody's trading with everybody else under the bloody table. Right. I will say, though, running off and hiding with the syndicate, that does look guilty as anything. Yeah? 
And I didn't look guilty before, based on those files you got from Nyx. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. Okay. So, right. This is believable, I suppose. We know there are double agents in corporate moles all over the bloody place. Makes sense that, you know, on occasion, someone in Ryujin might go and infiltrate another company. That's reasonable. The problem with double agency is, yeah, there's no way to verify which side they're really on, if anybody. So, okay. How about you just, you know, keep talking, explain your side of the story a bit more clearly. Look, I only know about Project Dominion because I wanted to know exactly what I was being accused of leaking. But that tech is dangerous. An internal neuroamp that can theoretically control other people? If the evidence points to me, it's because Ularu used it to set me up. What better way to frame someone than to take control of their mind and have them actually perform the actions? Right. So, okay. We know that, like, you know, neuroamps can make you better at things like intimidation or whatnot, but this thing is uh, one step beyond that. It's straight up mind control, and uh, your story is she used uh, the mind control neuroamp to make you basically do the exact things uh, you're accused of. So uh, your defense is, uh, yes, I did the exact thing you're accusing me of, uh, but I only did it because I was being mind controlled. Well, that's a bloody convenient defense for you, isn't it? So, uh, right, yes, this does sound like, you know, a conveniently good cover, to be honest. You want evidence? I've got it. Ularu has the skill to pull this off, but she's also been behind a desk for years now. I knew she'd miss something. This slate holds all the evidence against her. I just need you to deliver it to Dalton. It's the only way I can prove I'm innocent. Okay, so, right, give it to Dalton, Dalton told me to bring you in, and yes indeed, why is your evidence any more believable than the other evidence? Like, sure, you've come up with this story about mind control and whatnot, someone else could tell me an equally plausible story about how your evidence is entirely fabricated. Nix's contract limits his investigation to Ularu's computer and her network activity. I hacked into building security and was able to recover deleted records of her accessing the Project Dominion prototype. I guarantee the third-party company Dalton is using for his security directive Theta won't even notice it. Okay. Sounds like, yeah, her evidence may be somewhat solid. And yeah, we're not attacking her, so we're either bringing her in or we'll just give Dalton the evidence. Problem is, can I trust her? Because this is Ryujin. Like, I can't cock and trust anybody here. So, uh, okay, how are you going to respond uh, if I suggest you ought to come with me? I can't do that. The moment I step in that building, Dalton will lock me up and Ularu will be on high alert. Okay, so, uh, Right, I can't reasonably say, if you're innocent, what you have to worry about. This is neon, it's dodgy as anything. Look, if you just bring this slate to Dalton, I'm sure he'll understand. But if I go with you, everything is ruined. It's your choice. Do you want the truth? Or do you just want to be employee of the month? I mean, to be honest, tell me more about this employee of the month thing. Does it come with a nice plaque? Do I get a good gift card? Is there a ceremony? Like, I'm a sucker for a good ceremony. And a bonus. Like, if it comes with a big bonus, I might be tempted to... I'm sorry, this isn't the answer you're expecting, was it? Right, I'll take the slate to Dalton. You stay here. But if it turns out you were guilty, and this mind control thing is just made up, I am going to come back here, and I am going to murder you. And once again, we've got choices. So, right, we could go straight to Alaru. Now, when it says confront Alaru... Alaru could potentially tell me, you know, her side of the story, which might be just as plausible as Imogene's, but we'll start with Dalton. We're not going to go to Alaru because, yeah, I'd like to get Dalton's take on what's on the slate. You're back. 
And Imogene? Okay, I am aware my orders were to bring her in, but, um, okay. I'm not going to speculate on her who is or isn't lying to you right now. The point is, yeah, she says it's not safe for her to return. That's a fact. That's a thing she said to me. Not safe? And I hope she gave you a damn good reason why. Just give him the slate, okay? Just don't try and figure out what is or isn't going on right now. Anybody could be lying to you. It's Ryujin. Everybody's constantly lying. In fact, you know what? This is a really good thing to say. Imogen put this together, but I have a no way of verifying if it's true or not. This evidence complicates the situation, if it points to Ularu. It's gonna take me some time to pass, because if it's legitimate, we need absolute certainty before making the accusation. You realize, if Imogene has misled you, she'll be long gone by now. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vinakara's office. Still, bare minimum, that gets me money, XP, and a handful of uh, med packs. Beautiful. So, right, over to R&D. Marvelous. Here we cocky go. I remember this environment. Right, I've actually been, yeah, straight through here. Just, you know, officially... Oh, hang on. Don't say that out loud. Like, you weren't supposed to have been through here. Officially, this is the first time I've ever been on this floor. It's very lovely, guys. Good job. I need that Rothesite if we want to complete the Neuroam. I'm just concerned the entire station was wiped out by... something. Don't worry. We'll figure it out and get that shipment back. Alright, the CEO herself has come down for this one. Good. You're here. It's time to put a plan in motion to take full control of this situation with Infinity LTD. Okay, and they're talking about materials, which makes me think... Right. Even if both Infinity and Ryujin had the schematics to build the amp, if there was, say, yeah, like you were just implying, a particular crucial ingredient needed to make it, like, you know, a rare mineral or something, if only one of you had access to aforementioned mineral, then... That person's got the app. The schematic's useless if you don't have the materials to build it. We don't know to what extent Infinity has taken the current NeuroAmp schematics. So, our top priority is completing our own. Let me introduce you to Vina Kalra, Head of Research and Development. She'll give you the initial details. Yes, details. You see, the internal NeuroAmp is supposed to consist of two parts. The first part, the part Infinity stole, handles the manipulative effects. The second part is a shielding modification designed to protect the user against other NeuroAmp... users. Okay, so mind control and defense against other people's mind control. Fascinating. It sounds to me like, yeah, Infinity have definitely missed a trick here, which is... Uh, if they try and go to market claiming they've got a mind control device, and Ryuji could come out the very same day saying, hey, here's the thing that blocks mind control devices, arguably, the latter's a much bigger business. Like, only a small number of people are going to want to do mind control, but everybody's going to want to be not mind controlled, so... Right, that's rather interesting. Or indeed, like it says in option three, yeah, keeping the shielding is a nice secret for Ryujin, that could be good too. Either works. Once Vina can complete the internal neuroamp and shielding mod, the plan is to outfit you with both and have you infiltrate Infinity LTD. We can't risk the assignment until we know your mind has the necessary protection. Oh, sign me the cock up, plug it in my brain. This sounds hilarious. Good. I'm glad you see this as an opportunity. And I love a willing subject. Now it's just a matter of getting the key ingredient. The final kink in both designs was finding compatible materials to use for conductivity that the human body wouldn't reject. I've finally created the perfect alloy, but it requires a newly discovered refined element called Rothesite. Which is where I come in. We have a confidential contract with Consolidated Mining to gather, refine, and ship the Rothesite straight to us. Their last shipment is late, and neither we nor Consolidated Mining have had any communication with the Karenay station. Oh, now, hang on. 
This is starting to ring a bell. I think I know precisely what station you're referring to. Oh, I thought so. Up in the top left of the galaxy. I've been here before. I stumbled across this of mine by accident, like many, many parts ago. It's just, um, yeah. Back then, I couldn't get inside. The mine itself was, like, locked down. So, okay. Now I'm guessing we could get inside. Yep, there she is, where we've literally been before. Magnificent. So, uh, okay, let's mosey over there because... Uh, hang on, what was that last time? I think it was just a handful of ecliptic mercs, though now this is a proper mission, it could have been repopulated with something more significant. Here we go, I remember this location, and yeah, we've cleared out before, but... Okay. Just a mosey on up a little bit here. I love a low gravity environment and... Uh, okay, just out of interest. Are you guys going to be like... Oh, I feel like you're going to be trouble. And... Ecliptic. That's a fine up to... Never mind, I was really hoping we might be able to, you know, be badass and... Excuse me. No. No, no, no. None of that, please. None of that. There we go. Good dramatic fall there. And yeah, I thought this place looked weird the first time I was here. Because it was clearly studying a particular mineral. I'm guessing this will be the, um, yes, Rothesine. So, okay. Mosey on through. And nice and slow. Nice and... John, you don't need to be nice and slow. Nice and careful. Get out the coachman. All right. This is your favorite thing in the world. A low gravity environment. Everybody loves a, a low gravity environment. I can just like, you know, hover around the edge of this building and nuke everyone. It's cooking hilarious. Just sneaky bastards have decided to stay inside on this occasion, though. Okay. Can't help but notice you guys are also asleep because it's night. Then I see you. Down you. Gosh darn it, somehow or another, they heard that. Dear oh flippid dear. Okay, just a prepare for trouble. It's a large number of people. Probably best we get out the old shotty. Everybody loves that shotty. And okay, we slightly... I'm going to be honest, that was underwhelming, shotty. You're normally better than that. Dear oh flippid. Okay, you killed two people with one shot there. That was good. I'll give you. That was badass. Just nip around the corner. Are you sure you don't want to surrender? He should have surrendered. And yes, I remember this location. There was one a lovely gigantic uh, tower at the top, but security door. Can't open that no matter what keys or whatnot I've got. So instead, yeah, there was a downstairs uh, through here, down towards like a mine or something. But previously, this was all locked off. But not any cocking more. At long cocking last, we get to go down here. Brilliant. And remember, we're not just here to murder. We're here to investigate. Figure out, well... I think we could tell what happened. Like, Ecliptic came in and killed everyone. The bigger question is, yeah... Why? Who's paying them, etc, etc. And also... Okay, I think that might be a window there. Sometimes your powers make it a bit hard to see when you do or don't actually have, you know, a proper line of sight and whatnot. Still, I've still got the opportunity. Maybe we can take out a handful of you guys with... There we go. Couple down. Everyone's a bit suspicious, but not too suspicious yet. Still in caution. You just pop out, buddy, and no... There we go. Good old sneak attacks. Everyone loves a sneak attack. That was pretty badass if I do say so myself. And you don't even know what's going on. Right, just keep the powers active. And as soon as we step out, down you go. Two, we're making good progress on the sneak attacks, which is good. We need to be, uh, yeah, getting some of them together if we want to be uh, moving in the right direction on sneakiness, which might be a good idea. Okay. No one else alive in the immediate area. Someone's just doing a bit of a Bethesda physics wibble. Lovely. Grab the ammo. That's just a notepad, not the evidence we need. And... Right. This will be Rothesite then. So in which case... Hang on. Was I supposed to... Never mind, he's just a physics wibbling. 
Am I supposed to, like, you know, get the rothocyte or something? Well, I've got some rothocyte, so if I'm supposed to be harvesting this, I've now got some to take back to base with me. Good, 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 good. Okay, just a little bit deeper inside. You're only level 5, so a body shot of any description should take you out. Plenty of uh, sneak attacks here. More sneak attacks is good, so just take you out, you... Okay, I feel like there might have been someone else in this room I didn't notice. Yes, there were more people over there. I just got a tiny bit, like, nuked and whatnot. Maybe go to, like, you know, better weapon here. Hello, don't mind me. My name's Arya. I'm just here to investigate what's going on with the... Okay, for some reason, they can shoot me, but I can't shoot them. Well, that's cooking rude. Okay, I feel like at this point... They know that I'm here. So it might be time to just get out the shotty and basically start cocking, running, and gunning down anyone who looks at me funny. I think that's now what we're officially um doing. Yes, this will work just fine, actually. This will be fine. Right, last one somewhere around here. It's just, hello there, Mr. Turret. Don't you mind me, and I think we've now cleared out the area. So, okay. Keep on keeping on. Keep on looting. There's a lovely farming hat for no well-explained reason. We're going down into the mine proper. Okay. Lights off. Superpowers on. And no. No, no, no. None of that, please. Just take them out step by step. And... Okay. For some reason, one of you's tanked. Find the shipment. Right. That'll be yes on you. Just make sure you're about to walk into some trouble. And sorry about that. Didn't kill you with one a hit. Dear oh flippin' dear. Right. Check the terminal. Figure out what's going on. So here we go. Rothocyte. Some's been delivered to the clinic, which we've been to already. Consolidated mining. Right. Black crystals. Presumably unrefined rothocyte. And Rogan Industries redirected to the clinic for the attention of a Dr. Kendrick Lane. Right, so I think we need to go and speak to Dr. Lane. Right, in which case, just around the corner and... Lovely shot in the back of the head for you, buddy. That's definitely a sneak attack in getting me... Okay, contract orders, a giant pile of money. And yes, obviously... Not the shipment, because the shipment's already gone off to the clinic. And the spacesuit, sadly, is kind of trash, which is a shame, because combat veteran it is a good effect. Oh, and this is one a hell of a bloody smoking gun on that guy. So, right. Infinity LTD, a Lupus Draxler. Very specifically ordered, yeah. This sample to be intercepted, sent on to the clinic, and also leave no witnesses. Okay, so I feel like we've got some paperwork here that prove you just ordered some murders. And apparently on this occasion, right, we're not just, you know, going back in to report to what's-his-face or anything. Oh no, we're taking some initiative here. We're going straight on to the clinic. So, the sample's round here somewhere in, aha, the, oh no. I was hoping, yes, the ranger office would be a good place to start, but no, that's, um, that's not where that is. It's the secure wing. Gotcha. So in which case, okay. Who can theoretically help me with this? This area's off limits. Authorized personnel only. Okay, well, we've got... Ooh. Well, this is a bloody convenient starting point. The random unnamed grunt just outside might be able to be very easily fooled by my medical experience. Uh... Understood. Uh, here's an access card. Good luck. Okay, that was much easier than I was expecting. Like, you know, I was ready to go and speak to my ranger friend over here, etc, etc, but no. In we go, and, um, okay. I'm kind of suspicious that just like the last time we went into a secure wing over here, yeah. Everyone's probably already gonna be dead in here, aren't they? Okay, down on the ground, magic powers... Okay. Well, at least some people are alive. That's good. You can't be okay with this, though, right? You took an oath, and I'd say this is a firm violation. Look, we got that shipment. Although, who knows what Faye expects me to do with it. But maybe approvals really are on the way. 
Now please, get back to Kai. Make sure his vitals are stable. I don't want to lose him. We'll figure this out. I promise. Fine. But if we lose Kai, that's it. I'm going to SSNN. I don't give a shit about my career anymore. <sighs> you and me both. Okay. I'm guessing they're discussing the Wrath of Sight and also, you know, inserting the McJibble into Kai. Whoever Kai is. So it sounds like Kai's not doing so hot. Meaning... Ooh. I could volunteer to replace Kai. That might be fun. And there she is right there. The Rothersite. For some reason, yeah. These guys have agreed to do this procedure. Possibly, given they were mentioning authorizations, uh, yeah, they're under the impression they're working for the Free Star Council or something. It's hard to say. So, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, I mean, if you're planning to literally walk out right now, I see no reason why we wouldn't, you know, uh, very quickly poke at your terminal, given we can just crack her open. Thank you for leaving your office completely unguarded. So, one email to, uh, yes, Dr. Kendrick Lane uh, from uh, Lupus Drexler, who appears to be behind uh, all of this. So, uh, okay. Human trials on behalf of Infinity LTD, which is apparently being done potentially without the proper legal authorization. So, uh, oh, Lucas, I feel like you could be in a lot of trouble if all this goes public. And this will be the problem all these people were using. Uh, yeah, not Rothersite. Instead, uh, various grades of titanium, whatever that means precisely. So, uh, right. Two dead, uh, and Kai's in a coma. I do rather appreciate, by the way, that I can just, you know, uh, come in, take the briefcase and be on my way, but... Okay, while I'm here, we'll have a word with Dr. Lane if he's willing to speak with us. And um, better and better, right, this isn't Dr. Lane, this is his assistant, but... With my medical experience, I could just keep this charade running a bit longer. So yes, between medicine and what I just read on the terminal, buddy. I have experience with coma patients. Tell me more, I might be able to help. We're on a private contract with Infinity LTD. It's for something they call Project Dominion. Dr. Lane and I were instructed to conduct human trials on several... volunteers. So far, only one patient has survived. And right, bit of a pause there before you said to volunteers. This just gets worse and worse. Sean, what the hell is going on here? Who is this? And hello there, Dr. Lane. I was going to come and speak to you in a second. So, right, you've already got a neuroamp, though one of the external regular ones. And, uh, okay. Dr. Lane, how could you, sir? A lot of people are dead right now. You think we stood by and did nothing? We did everything we could to save them. You've no idea how many hours we spent in surgery and how closely we monitored each and every one of them. Okay, so apparently we've just completely abandoned the ruse and whatnot. We're not even going to try it on this guy. Screw you. We're going to expose everything. I think you're being a little overdramatic here. No, she's right, Ken. It's what you and I both deserve after going along with this mess. How long have we talked about walking away or refusing to work? We oversaw the death of nine people here, and it may as well be ten. Infinity may have lied to us, but they also paid us well enough that we did nothing. You'd let some stranger like this just ruin our careers? Yes, and you're going to let them too. Go ahead. Get whatever information you need to take this place and Infinity down. I'll make sure Dr. Lane remains cooperative. You know what, Sean? You seem like a decent tag. Maybe, just maybe, I'll put in a good word about you if the opportunity arises. And I'm guessing that means, yes, at this point, this is no longer stealing. Beautiful. So, we'll just be taking that back to Ryujin, who... I mean, I'm gonna be honest, they're probably gonna do something just as unethical. I have no right to get up on my high horse about this. And sure, I appreciate we have just seen a very good evidence suggesting I shouldn't volunteer to have this thing put inside my brain. But screw it, I'm sure it'll work better now we've got the Rothesites. Alright Doctor, here's the stuff, I plug it in my brain, let's go! Is that my beautiful shipment? You were right about this one, Masako. So, what did you learn about CM Station RC1? And yes indeed, it was Infinity. All Infinity, and I have got contracts with their CEO's name all over them. Hm. Lucas must be desperate if he hired them to collect the Rothersite. Now, I also had a report that you were spotted at the clinic. I take it you traced the shipment there? 
Yes, indeed. And a couple of doctors have been, yes, a little bit on the uh, unethical side, shall we say. Though once again, we've got Infinity's fingerprints all over it. So, it sounds like Lucas has reached a new level of desperation to ensure his future as CEO. I'll make sure Yuko's team extracts every bit of information they can from the clinic's database on this. Between hiring Ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, we have enough to take Lucas down for good. And with the Rothesite secure, it's almost time for us to make our move. And alright, good. Infinity's gonna get its comeuppance, though... Once again, I feel like Ryujin are not the good guys here. Like, I'm worried we're going to use this stuff for something even cocking worse, potentially. Head up to the executive floor and speak to Dalton. He has an update for you on the mole's identity. I've called a meeting, and I expect you to attend. It's time to put the final plan in motion. All right, there we go. XP, money, etc., etc. But you know what? I'm more interested in, yes, Dalton's update. I want to know who really did it and whether I've just been completely cocking deceived by Imogen. I re-evaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. Ularu is the mole. Okay, bare minimum, I didn't mess up by leaving Imogen alone. Good, 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 good. I was not an idiot on this occasion. Yes. You made the right call. I've briefed Masako and discussed her plans on handling this. While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogen was the mole, and the situation was dealt with. Right, keep it under cover until you've got a strong enough case against Ularu. Gotcha. Masako has tasked Ularu with writing the program to bring down Infinity LTD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program. So this could provide the evidence we're looking for. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity. So before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. Oh, Kang. She's going to have the chance to screw over Masako... And if she tries, basically, you'll use that against her. Lovely. Good. Once Ularu believes she's properly deflected any suspicion, I have no doubt she'll be bold enough to hide something within whatever program she writes. Now, let's attend a meeting. And yes, like it was just mentioned to us, uh, there's about to be a big meeting to discuss how precisely we're going to take down Infinity. And by the sounds of it, I'm going to be pretty bloody central to the plan. But okay, with the true culprit determined, how about we call it apart there? But next time, right, we're carrying straight on with this because, uh, oh yeah, I suspect they're about to plug a magic mind control chip into my brain and then potentially ask me to use it in some capacity to take down Infinity and... Uh, Oh, well, that just sounds bloody hilarious, doesn't it? So, yes, indeed, that's coming up next time, and hopefully you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been Many a True Nerds, and this has been Starfields. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.